In this video, we are going to continue with linear programming, focusing on word problems involving inequalities. You will find this on page 331 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. Violet. There are X girls and Y boys in a church choir. The number of girls is more than 1.5 times the number of boys in the choir. Show that Y is smaller than 2 over 3 X. Now, so if I say X is, okay, so let's just first, um, look again at the question. The number of girls is the girls, is more than 1.5 times the number of boys. So if you just make, say this is the girls, this is the boys. So if you actually want to put the equal sign, you will put the 1.5 with the boys in order for it to balance. Okay? But now it's just an inequality. So bigger, so that's what I said now. But now if I want to just get y, I just divide by 1.5, divide by 1.5. And if I divide by 1.5, it's actually to becoming 2.3. And that's how I just got this expression. Okay. So then there are more than 12 girls in the choir. They are just referring to the girls. So, more than 12 girls, it will just be x is bigger than 12. There are more than 5 boys in the choir, so y is bigger than 5. It's just, this is just one variable, one variable. And then, the maximum, num maximum number of children in the choir is 35. That means x plus y is smaller than equal to 35. So in this case, I'm having 1, 2, 3, 4 inequalities. Can you see that? Okay. So basically, okay, what was the question saying? I'm just reading it for you from the previous page. Using a scale of one centimeter to represent five children on each axis, draw the x-axis from 0 to 40 and the y from 0 to 40. Okay, so I first draw my axis and now I'm just going to plot the points. Draw the four lines on your graph to represent the inequalities. So there's my x plus y equals 35. Can you see again? 1x plus 1y. That's why it cuts at 35 and 35. Make a table for this one. Did you see I created a table? Because there's not a c-value. And I plot. Very important in this example. There's a lot of dotted lines because there's not equal signs. Okay. So this is a dotted. The same here. X cuts at 12, dotted. Cuts at, at 5, Y cuts at 5, dotted. Okay. So if it's like this, just remember that you cannot take points on the vertex, okay, or the vertices. You have to take it close by. And also remember that you cannot have a half boy or a half girl. It must be full numbers. It must be whole numbers. Okay. So in that case, I'm going on. I shake all the unwanted, and then the, the school boys, uh, the school boys um, buys a uniform for each choir member. A girl's uniform costs 25 Namibian dollar. A boy's uniform costs 20. Find the maximum possible cost for the choir uniform. So it will be 25x plus 20y. Okay, and the maximum possible cost. So again, I just come with my inequality here. So first, I'm just going to write my expression. So 20x plus 20y, it's actually an algebraic expression, it's not an inequality. Then I'm just going to take the points closest to the corners or the vertices. And then I'm just, and what will be the maximum? It looks like it's that one, the 29 and the 6. So the maximum cost is 845 for 29 girls and 6 boy uniforms. Okay, excellent example. 
I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try no one, use graph paper and again you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, I, I will start on this page and then we'll go to the graph paper. Petrus wants to plant X orange trees and Y lemon trees. He wants at least three orange trees and at least two lemon trees. Okay, write down an inequality in X and, and um, in X and one inequality in Y to represent these conditions. Okay, so he wants, let's, let's start with that first. I just want to highlight for you. He wants at least three orange trees and at least two lemon trees. Don't forget <coughs> that the orange is X and the lemon trees is Y. And if I write that two inequalities, don't combine them. So then I say at least, so that means X must be bigger and equal to three and the next one y at least two lemon trees y must be bigger and equal to two okay that's number a number b there is space on his land so now it's about space for no more than nine trees write down an inequality so this is going to be x plus y must be smaller and equal to nine Okay, that's number B. Number C. Orange trees cost 60, number B dollar, and lemon trees cost 140. Pierce wants to spend no more than 840. Write down the inequality and show that it simplifies to. So always start with that values. It's all about the cost now. It's 60x plus 140y, um, no more, so smaller and equal to 840. Then I divide 20, divide 20, divide 20. So therefore, 3x plus 7y is smaller and equal to 42. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> That's what I arrived at. So Draw an x-axis from 0 to 15, y from 0 to 12, using 1 centimeter to represent 1 on each. On the grid, draw the four lines. So can you see the four? This is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. And I will copy it now. Um, on the grid line, show the four and shape the unwanted regions. Let's first do that. First I'm going to just copy the inequalities. Okay, so let's just copy that inequalities. So it's going to be x is bigger and equal to 3, y is bigger and equal to 2, x plus y is smaller and equal to 9, and 3x plus 7y is smaller and equal to 42. Okay. Then I'm going to start and I'm going to just mark this. Just get that ruler. Okay, and then on this axis I will go to 16, let's just go and see what they said. Um, so on the y axis to 12, uh, x axis 0 to 15. Okay, and so every unit, so every two units will be 2. Okay, well let's just go to every unit. 1. Two, 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन Okay, I can even number it. This is my orange trees. Okay, and I'm going to number it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and this is my lemon trees. Okay, and then okay, I'm going to start with the lines. Let's just. Let's just um, see that to draw all that lines. So the, this one is easy. X is bigger and equal to 3. This time I'm going to draw the lines in one color. So X is bigger and equal to 3. It's cutting the X axis and it's cutting the X axis at 3. So X is equal to 3. And if I start blocking, so it's bigger, so bigger is towards this side, so I will shade the smaller. Okay, and then y equals 2. Okay, and um, this will be y equals 2, <coughs> and in this case, it's also bigger, so it's up, so again I will shade the bottom. Okay. And then x plus y, so it's 9 and 9. Okay, and it's smaller, so smaller is down, but I shade the bigger, the opposite, the unwanted. And this this line was just, okay, it's a bit difficult to see, so let's just write it. This was x plus y. Okay. Okay, now this one is a bit more complicated, so then I just use my other method. Um, cuts, x axis, y equals 0. So in the place of a, y, I put a 0. So 3x is 42. <coughs> I divide 3 and I divide 3. So in this case, the value of x is going to be 14. Okay, and then cuts y axis, then the opposite will be 0. Okay, so now I put in the place of 0. So seven y so I divide seven and seven <laughs> so therefore the value of y is six. Okay. So this is going to be fourteen and six. Okay, let's keep it to green. So the value of y is going to be 6.
the value of x is going to be 14. And again, it was smaller, so smaller is down. So again, I'm going to show it up. Okay, but there is your required region. Okay, now I go on with the question, and what is the question saying now to me? Um, calculate the smallest cost if, Pe if Petrus buys a total of nine trees. So basically, it's just going to, okay, so in this case, it's a bit of difficult, okay? If it's just only the 0.6 is unshaded, Okay, so only the point six and three and seven and two in the uncertain region are in the line x plus y equals nine. So this is a bit a different one. So basically, I know, and I'm just going to clean here. So because if they get done giving you expression now, they give you an equation. So it's, it's going to be x plus y must be 9. So what two values in this region will give me 9? So if I look at 6 and 3, that one will be all right. And 7 and 2, 7 and 2, also on that. Okay, we'll be in the, or in the line this. Test these two to find the minimum cost. So in this case, calculate smallest. So if I put this in, I'm going to find the minimum cost, but go back to the cost. Can you remember the cost? The cost was 60 and 140. So, okay, let, let's first write down the two points. I just want to get the two points. So I'm testing 6 and 3, and I'm testing 7 and 2. And the money, unfortunately I was cleaning the money but can you remember, it was 60x and 140y. So it's 60x plus 140y. So if I substitute in here, so it's 60, and I put 6 plus 140, and I put y. So if I'm going to work out this one, I'm going to get 360, plus 420, that's going to give me a total of 780. That's for the one. Okay, so let's do the other one. Just going to make it a bit smaller. Because I want to do it on this side. So, if I'm doing the same now with this point. So again, it's 60. Now it's 7 plus 140 and that's that 2. So if I'm going to do that one, I'm going to get 420 plus 280, and that is going to give me 700. Okay, so I will say, therefore, the lowest cost will be that's 700, and that will be for seven, what was it now again, orange trees and um, two lemon trees. But they didn't ask you that. They just asked you, they just asked you that lowest cost. But that, that's how I came to that lowest cost.